Hello. Today is Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. And today I'm not gonna uh fix regular tacos. I'm gonna fix my I'm gonna fix shrimp tacos. And what I'm doing here now is I just poured up a bag of sweet corn and I'm gonna flavor that up myself. I normally use fresh bell peppers, red and green and yellow, but due to the time today, I bought a bag of frozen bell pepper blends with the onions in it. So I'm taking some of those and I'm putting it in my corn along with some margarine and I'm gonna put a little Rotel tomatoes in there also to give it that flavor. And I'm boiling some water because I'm making um Spanish rice also. So I'm gonna add a little of this in there to give it that flavor that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna continue to add a little bell peppers too. Get that color in there and when you're cooking frozen corn, you have to cook that frozen corn a little bit longer than you would a can of Mexican corn. So, I'm still adding my bell peppers as I go along and trying to get my water uh, started also for my rice. And uh, it doesn't take long for the shrimp to cook, so it's not going to take long at all for that. So, I'm going to turn my blend on shortly, and I'm going to add my taco seasoning in that. And I'm going to turn this down and turn it down to a low, 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 low temp. Since I'm pretty much in, add it, and I'll just keep an eye on it and just add as I go to see what I need, what else I need to do to it. This is a little more rotating. And if it was a can of Mexican corn, it wouldn't be a problem. But I want to give it that authentic flavor more. And this, this right here will do just that. Although I like it both ways. And I'm going to add a little, add a little black pepper to it. Salt, not much, a little salt. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm bring it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna add my lid to this right here and let it cook. And I have to let it simmer because, like I was saying, this frozen corn. And with frozen corn, it has to cook down. Now, if it was like just a regular can of corn, I'd be okay. So, let me uh, wash my top off. And turn the corn down and let that cook. And while that's cooking, I'm going to use one bag of this boiled rice for my rice. I don't take a lot of rice. I just need to um, prepare some for dinner. Because our main meal is going to be our tacos. But I do want to have some size. Well, in case somebody else wants some size. But I'm majority like <laughs> the tacos. And this is the blend that I was saying that I have. And normally this be fresh, but like I said, due to the time today, I just uh, bought some frozen. I'm just going to cut it up and I'm going to turn this on real shortly and I'm going to season this up and uh, add my shrimps to it and see how that goes. And, and do my rice.
That would be my Taco Tuesday. This would be Shrimp Taco Tuesday. And I found there's so many different ways you can make tacos, but I chose the shrimps. Um, they have fish tacos. That, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all all know there's a whole lot of ways to make tacos, but today I chose to do shrimp tacos instead of the regular tacos. And I'm going to add just a little bit of canola oil in this right here. And the part about it is, by it being frozen, it has a little water in it. So, I'm about to end up adding a little bit more than what I would normally add. But I'm still not going to add a lot, but I'm going to add more than what I would normally add. Because I want to get them... I want to get them just right before I put my seasoning in this right here also. I'm going to add my taco seasoning into this blend because it doesn't take long for shrimp to get done. So I want to have all my flavor already blended into my blend before I add that to it. Well, I hope all y'all out there enjoying your Tuesday. We have a storm coming back our way once again. Look like this year is Louisiana's year for storms. But we have another storm riding this way. We're supposed to start getting um, some bad weather in Thursday and over to Friday. But it's going to be all right. God's going to continue to protect us. He done brought us through all this. He's going to continue to bring us through it. And I already have my shrimps already ready. I have my shrimps in my bowl. And these are my shrimps right here. I have them ready. They've been washed, deveined, and cleaned. I'm just waiting to add them to my blend once I get it seasoned up and at the point where I need it. And um, I'm going to tell you about my sauce because in case I don't have enough time, I have some Velveeta cheese. I'm going to take it and I'm going to melt it down in my little pot. And I'm going to add this over the taco, the sauce, like I would with the ricotta sauce. So I'm not using shredded cheese. I use this right here, this cheese on this right here. And it's really good like that too. And um, I'm going to, I don't like putting all my lettuce and everything else. So I have a small container right now. Then I'm going to put half of my lettuce in. I go the easy way. I get the lettuce already shredded. Yeah, I would, I would get that if I wasn't uh, if I wasn't pushing for time. I would still get this <laughs> this lettuce like this because it's so much better. And I put it in a container so the other members of the family can just use it if they own discrepancy. And I put a lid on it, and I put the remainder in the refrigerator. I close it up, and I put it in a freezer bag, and I will put this away later. But I, I put my lettuce in a little container, and I just put the lid on it. And cut my tomatoes up, and put a lid on that. And like I said, boil my little rice. And my um, blend is cooking pretty good now. I'm going to start seasoning it now. But it's coming along pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one pack of taco mix right here. I'm going to take one pack of that. I'm going to put it over inside of For my vegetables. I 
I love that smell. That smell just, I love a taco smell, period. I just like the way that smell. Keep it down low enough so I won't have to add. I don't want to add too much water to this due to the fact that when I put the shrimps in, it's going to be already enough water. But I'm going to have to add just a little water to this though. Yeah. And normally when I do shrimp tacos, I don't know uh, use the hard shells. I normally use the soft shells, but you can use whichever shells you like. But I normally try to use my soft shells. So yes, yeah, it's, it's up to you. Whatever you like. But those just taste so much better. Yeah. Yeah, that's coming out fine. The corn is cooking down really good. And see when you add all those different uh ingredients in your corn just yellow corn to begin with and now that I've added my different ingredients to it it looks like Mexican corn as you can see see it looks like Mexican corn so I'm gonna continue to let that cook on a low speed low temp to let this vegetable saute as long as I normally would if I had uh, used fresh vegetables because they were already soft and I don't really have to uh, saute them like I normally would. Normally if you use fresh vegetables you would cut them all up first and you will saute them to their tender and then you add your taco seasoning to it and then you add your shrimp. And your waitress, it should look something like this, like a pasty. See how pasty that look? You can see it. And then I add my tacos in there, right there. And I add my shrimp, I'm sorry. I add my shrimps in there for my tacos. Yeah, so spoon them a shrimp in. You have to continue to stir. You know it doesn't take shrimp long. That's why you try to wait till everything is pretty much ready. I'm going to add a little seasoning to this though. I'm going to add a little lemon pepper. I like lemon pepper almost everything I cook with. So add some lemon pepper. A little black pepper. And yes, a little garlic powder. Not much garlic powder it is, but make some garlic powder. Now that I have the shrimps in, I'm going to turn it back up just a little bit. Because I had it almost at a simmer. 
like I said, these weren't uh, fresh vegetables. So now that I have this in here, I'm also going to add additional pack of the taco seasoning. So... I'm going to add another pack of this. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That flavor is very important. So I gotta keep eye on it. It's almost at the point where I need to be. Just a little bit more though. Just add just a little more water to this right here. too pasty and too thick and at the same time you don't want to lose your flavor so you don't want to add too much water at all and I have um, my tomatoes I need to cut up I have two tomatoes two tomatoes I'm going to cut up step off from the cameras because I'm washing my utensils or washing something that I'm using. Put these tomatoes up and put them in a container also. So that way when I tell everybody dinner's ready, all they have to do is just come and put their dinner together. Everything will be already cut up and prepared and just go at it. And who's cooking tacos today? If anybody else is cooking their little taco Tuesday today, comment down below and let me know what you're cooking. Whether it's regular tacos or nachos. Or even enchiladas is considered a taco Tuesday. So it's just a, to me, it's just a Mexican dish, Spanish dish. So, maybe cooking something a little different in this all together. But if anybody's cooking something else, just come in and share that with me. And if there's anything else that you might know that I could fix another Mexican dish, I'll be happy. If I never fix it, I'll be happy to look it up and try to fix it. Like I said before, I like cooking. So I'll be happy to look it up and try to prepare it. And, and if I can't, I'll just, I'll just come in back to you and tell you I couldn't do that one. <laughs> but I never know until I try. So just, yeah, just let me know. Comment down below. And let me know if there's a particular dish you'd like me to try to make or what are you fixing for your taco Tuesday. Just let me know. Yeah. 
even a taco salad is good. Do you make taco salads on Taco Tuesday? Like I said, just as long as it's a Mexican dish, you're in the same range. So, yeah. Let me know what you're fixing. My rice is ready. I'm gonna turn my rice down real low now. Turn it down low. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rinse it off. And I'm gonna add my ingredients to it to make my Mexican rice. It's just plain white rice right now. I'm going to take this plain white rice. I have it turned down. I'm going to add the rest of my rotel into this. Sriracha is S R I A C H A seasoning. Can't pronounce it right, but it's a spicy seasoning. I'm going to add some of that in here to give that little kick that I'm looking for. I don't want to put too much because I want everybody to be able to eat it. <laughs> Lemon pepper goes a long way. It really goes with practically anything you really want to put together. Can't go wrong with that. Yes, that's the, my, my dinner is just about ready. Yeah, but like I say, it doesn't take long for these shrimps at all to cook. And they're just about there. And I'm not going to make my cheese while I'm filming right now. But all I'm going to do is put cheese inside my small pot. Then I'm going to cream it down. And I'm going to pour it on top of my tacos once we prepare them. Just like um, shredded cheese, but it's gonna be cream cheese. I like the cream cheese on mine. I like the soft cheese. It goes through there, it goes in real good. One day I'll probably just prepare this ahead of time since I'm showing y'all how I'm preparing it. And then we'll just eat them. And that way you'll be able to see how they look once they're prepared. And you'll get a feel of what I'm talking about. And um, this is my rice. I'm still, I'm still cooking on it, but this is the rice. And um, I'm gonna get ready to end the video because I'm coming to a close. I have a certain amount of time, but I want to let you all enjoy it, y'all tonight. And um, want y'all to go on my page, like, share, and comment. And I appreciate it. And I'll be back with y'all again real soon. Thank you.